That's bigger than Do I you expected. See that? Those are the red ones. And we can't see a thing. What do you got there, ma'am? Mm. Find some rocks. Water. Look, a seashell. There you go. We're going exploring. There's a certain point I want us to get to up there. We made it. This is so pretty. So we hiked over to this spot and around the bend we could see this view. And now, Isaac, which way are we going? I want to go that way. But we need to go. So which way are we going? That way. We're going to head back along these trails. Gorgeous tree. Look at the bark on that tree. I have no idea what kind of a tree that is, but it is beautiful. So on my hike with Isaac and Elise, we saw these beautiful trees. I didn't know what they were, so I had to look it up and I found it. It's called eucalyptus trees. The bark is just so beautiful. And I'm grateful for the internet because it can answer a lot of questions. We're stopping at a fun spot to pick up some acai bowls because that just sounds really good right now. How's the acai bowl? Good. Do you guys Good. remember the last time we tried one? Mm -hmm. In San Diego. We've been having so many fun memories of our San Diego trip while we're here in San Francisco. It's a lot like them. Janae is napping, so we're getting on our school done. We're doing so our spelling and go. our math. Where are we going? We're going to the Redwoods. That's where we're going. How's Redwoods spelling? Redwoods and we have Good. to go What's over the Golden Gate Bridge. We do, we have to go over the Golden Gate Bridge to get to the Redwood Forest. This is what Jeremy looks like when he's working. Very good. Last. Ooh. having the park all to ourselves. During the weekend we went to a park and it was super crowded, but it is not the weekend and it is empty here. We come to an amazing playground. Jenny wants to swing. That's what she loves. I don't blame her, I like to swing too. You should set up a course and then start timing yourselves. Here comes the Nene. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Mr. Lemoncello's library. What chapter are you on? I'm at chapter one. Nice. So we're driving up to Moore Wood. Moore Wood? New York? New York? Where? <laughs> we're driving up to the Redwoods. M U I R. Redwoods. And to get there, we have to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. And since we've flown in, the kids have been anxiously waiting for this moment, especially Laura. Every morning she's like, we're going across the Golden Gate Bridge today, Mom. And guess what? We're just coming up to the bridge and poor little Laura's asleep. So now I'm faced with the eternal parenting dilemma. Do you wake the child? We will be driving back over the bridge on the way home. So I say we just let her sleep and she'll see it when we come back. Aww. I think we should let her see it. You think we should wake her up? Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna see it when we drive back. Well, I decided because big surprise, the mom's actually in charge. And I'm gonna try once to wake her up. If she doesn't wake up, then I'm gonna assume she's super asleep and really needs to sleep. But I just, I'm so excited for her to be able to see it. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. Laura. <laughs> Laura. Laura. You're hey, what? Laura, we're going across the bridge, baby girl. Laura. <laughs> Laura, we're going across the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know if we could wake her up. I know, this Sorry. might be out of our oh, hands. Yeah, no. That was a good faith effort. Laura, if you are upset with us for not waking <laughs> you up, we now have video evidence that we tried. It is official, we are getting ready to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. Who's excited? Me! But first we have to go through the Golden Gate Tunnel. This is the General Douglas MacArthur Tunnel. It's actually kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Is. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. What? It's way bigger than I expected it to be. Wow! That is awesome! <laughs> this Woo! is so cool! We're going under the ocean! Under the towers. Wait, are there two towers? There yeah. are. There's the two big towers. Oh, yes. Everywhere you go. Look how big these cables are. These cables are literally holding up the road that we are driving on right now. Wow. I don't know if I trust Right? I think the same thing, Isaac. So did we learn that these towers are still the tallest towers on any bridge in the world? On any suspension bridge, I believe. Any suspension bridge. That's pretty tall. These towers. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at San Francisco, guys. came in early today. Oh my goodness, are we even gonna be able to see the top of the trees? Are we gonna be able to see any trees? I wonder what this view looks like when it's not covered in fog. We can't see a thing. I don't think we're gonna be able to see the redwoods. Because you can't see anything. Look at that. Where did you wake up? We're almost to the redwood forest. We just have like one more mile. Until we're at the Golden Gate Bridge and Forest. Laura, we actually already went over the Golden Gate Bridge because we're almost to the Redwood Forest. Oh, that was a long drive. It was a long drive. I really, oh. I didn't even notice that. You didn't that. even notice that? Yeah. You were asleep. You were asleep. We tried to wake you up. I said, Laura, Laura, there's and the then, Golden Gate Bridge. raining. It is kind of raining. It's the misting. Fog is misting. That's how they wow. get a lot of their water is from the That's mist. So even though these trees can get over 350 feet tall, their roots are normally only about six to ten feet deep but they link together with other roots from other trees making a grove. These are called family circles. Hundreds of years ago, a single large redwood grew here. Then disaster struck. The trunk of the large redwood was killed. You can see the original tree trunk still standing upright in the middle. Oh, do you see it right there? Do you see it? That burnt one is the original one. Despite such terrible damage, the tree did not die. And this is called a payphone. Have you guys ever seen one of those before? No. Back in the olden days. Back when I was a kid. Everybody didn't have cell phones. <laughs> and it has a cord, and you'd put money in there, and then you'd dial the number. You had to have it memorized. You had to have the number in your head. I'll call you. 
<laughs> and then when you hung up, a little change would come down here at the bottom. You could even call the operator and do a collect call. Back in the day. And the kids didn't know they'd learned so much here in the Redwood Forest. The way I can mostly tell that these trees are incredibly tall is because of my neck. Like normally when I look at trees, I go like this. Here, boom. This shows, do you see the tiny, tiny rings in here? Yeah. This shows the age of this redwood. I can't count it. 1492, Columbus sails to America. 1776, the Declaration of Independence. How far back does it go? The California Gold Rush. It goes back to 909 AD, the tree is born. The tree's over a thousand years old. Let's look at the bark. She does not want me to carry her. How about I take a turn carrying the little kumquat? She wants to walk. <laughs> she just said leaves. Leaves. I brought my old shoes. Oh, good. You brought your hiking shoes? Yeah. All right, keep going. You're doing a great job, Miss Laura. Janae finally gave in, and Jeremy is carrying her on his shoulders, but she really hiked. I cannot believe that girl. She's just 18 months old up here hiking away. So this trail that we're on is called the Canopy Trail. And so it's taking us up, 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 so we can see the redwoods from a completely different angle. What? Guys, this is beautiful. They said if you see birds, you're lucky. Janae, will you say bird? Birds. Do you see a bird? Yeah. This is 10 years old. 10 years old, you think? Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more. I love that we found a side path that was less traveled and we decided to take that one. And I think that's gonna make all the difference for this little trip that we're going on. We definitely weren't able to bring the stroller along with us. Burls, burls. Yeah. So do you remember what the burls are on the tree? Little they're babies. They're baby things, and when um, the tree gets stressed, it the things pop these, and then they grow mm -hmm. into little trees, and yeah. they make a family. So the burls hold the little baby trees to come out when it gets stressed. It's surprising how many characteristics of the redwoods are like people and like families. They make family circles, they hold hands with their roots under the ground, they share water and resources to make sure that they can all grow and survive together. Look right here guys, these are little baby redwoods. They're green. That's how they start and then they're gonna grow giant. There's another new growth. You found it. A redwood. So ever since I met Jeremy, whenever he's asked if you could go anywhere in the world, any trip, you win an all expenses paid vacation, where would you go? Every time his answer has been the Redwood Forest. It's really special to be able to come here today and enjoy this magnificent piece of nature together. It's a little bit of a dream come true for him. We just came across a whole grove of younger redwoods, oh my goodness. So what's beautiful is how straight they all are growing here. They just line up in a really beautiful way. All the sweatshirts are off. Laura tied it around her waist. Now we're going up. Oh yeah. So we're getting higher up on the path and the sun is definitely coming out. We're warming up, so we all wanted to take our sweatshirts off. And Laura looks at me and she says, Mom, I should have worn my swimsuit on this hike. <laughs> so Laura's correcting me. What did you actually say? Short sleeves. 
Oh, you should have worn your shirt, short sleeve shirt. Not your swimsuit, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna walk this. Okay, good plan. Well, we got to the point where we could look out over a lot of the trees and we're gonna head back now. And Kendra still wants to do the normal path too. I want more. I want more. Anyway, it hasn't disappointed. It's so fun to come and see this and I just keep standing in awe of how amazing this place is. I think one of the reasons that I love nature so much is it teaches the principles that God wants us to follow. The redwoods survive by living in communities and families that hold tight to each other and share and support resources. And they protect each other from the winds and the fire. It's really a beautiful lesson that we can learn from. So Isaac and Laura have been buddies. He's helping her make it down the trail. I recognize the tune. Keep it coming. Almost there, big girl. So Laura, what does new growth mean? It means they grow and then they grow back. Yeah, so did you know, Laura, that these are little tiny baby redwood trees? Yeah, and right now they have chemicals in it, and this one doesn't. Oh. Yeah, two people can go in at a time. Go stand in it. It's like an elevator. Yeah. We're going up, ding. Okay, ready? <laughs> She's One, so happy two, to be in there. Three. Everybody smile. So there's several other parks that have redwoods. The biggest trees here are only 260. So these don't have some of the biggest ones that are like 370 feet tall. Oh my goodness, that burl is... Where it's like a big beehive or something. Lombard Street. 